Welcome. In this video, we're going to continue our creative self portrait. And what we need to do is basically consolidate some of the modifications we've created in these three layers uh, to just the area we really want it to be working in. Also, I believe that uh, overall the painted background is a little too vibrant for this in overlay mode. So I'm going to try soft light and see how that looks. It's a little bit, little bit less um, over the top, so I like that. Now, in order to get this to work, what we're going to do is use our base layer to help us as a map and go to our paint back layer and add a black mask to it. So I'm going to hold down Alt and tap the mask icon. And I'm going to use the brush that I've been working with, which is this um, 100, 142 here that has uh, somewhat of a painterly look. Let's take a look at that. I might make the spacing go a little further down and go ahead and use this to slowly reveal the color that I want to come out. And so I'm just going to kind of brush in and reveal those all those different colors that I added in my painted background layer. And that should be relatively solid. It's going to be almost almost completely there. Um, you might change the size of your brush to get in some of the details because you don't want to put too much stuff outside the edge of the figure at this point. And uh, let's see. And some of this I might just, you know, almost fill in. Uh, I can make my brush a little bigger. Let's see how we can do on filling that in. So that's definitely bringing some color back in. And you can see the mask is pr pretty much the same. Now as I get down here into the part that I, you know, I, I'm just not big of, of a deal down here, uh, you might want to just do some gentle quick strokes that kind of go the length. Let's take a look at how that's looking on the mask. You can kind of see how that's going. And we'll just take this down and see if we can do some shading down our illustration. All right, let's take a look at how that looks. And yeah, pretty big gap right there. Let's see if we can fix that. Yeah. All right, so uh, I like that. Now we have to do the same thing with our original photo layer. So I'm going to go down to my original photo layer and I'm going to alt mask it and paint it back into existence but this time I'm going to be very gentle I'm going to slowly bring it in um, lower my overall opacity so it slowly comes into play and you can kind of see the hair definitely want to spend some time making sure the hair is there alright and around the eyes definitely important mouth definitely important all right so kind of the same deal um, if you want to add in some details like the edge of this see I went too far no problem I'll just hit X on my keyboard or switch over to the background color and just fix that all right so I'm just painting in the details here so that he can have what he needs here all right and just a little bit of shading down here and then do the same thing at the bottom just kind of painting in to create that mask and so he just kind of comes out of out of the sketch let's take a look at that mask see how, how it's looking yeah definitely spent some more time in the face let's see yeah, it's looking good. All right, so uh, you might want to spend some time fixing the edge over here. Um, you might have lost part of the edge of the face there, so no problem, you can fix it there. Another thing you do is jump over to your sketch lines layer, switch to the 14 brush, that um, illustrative brush, and just grab, you know, something to kind of just add in some edge here. Yeah, some add in some edge here and clean up that that side. You might do the same thing on this side as well. Kind of illustrate around some of these things. Kind of do some shading if needed to create 
your picture. Now, I do think in the end, this is still a little bit um, too overdone on the color. We'll, we'll adjust that in a minute. What we'll have to do is create a background first and kind of work on all these uh, together. So